Hey, Weber Snaps, this is Tortimer the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Crystal Wedlock, Heptathlonic Season 2. Today, we are finishing off our Kanto Gym Leaders in our post-game extravaganza as we are making our way towards our final battle next episode against Red. Um, not being overly optimistic, just I anticipate no huge problems, uh, especially considering all the grinding that I did uh, against trainers around Kanto. I think we're, we're pretty well well off at this point. So, let's take a quick look at the team as we're going into it with them today. We are starting off with Napoleon. Uh, Napoleon has gotten to level 50. Again, a lot of trainers around Kanto we've been battling, and pretty decent levels, actually, so that's been working out pretty nicely. Um... Josephine, his beautiful Blossom girlfriend, wife there, is now level 50 as well. Uh, we also have Bonnie, the Houndoom, level 49, who we added to the team last episode in preparation for the Celadon City Gym. And Bonnie's beau, uh, Aang, the Dragonair there, who we got uh, from the Dragon Den after Claire's Gym. Uh, and so that couple's working out pretty nicely, pretty nicely. And we're getting pretty close to a Dragonite here, level 50. We only got a couple more levels to go. Maybe even this episode. Probably not, but I guess we'll see how it goes. Uh, and then we've got Romeo and Juliet with us as well. Haven't been doing a ton of grinding with them, just been, because they're mainly here just for flying at this point. Wanted to get some more screen time with our, uh, our other couples. Um, I did have um, Penelope and Aragorn with me as well, uh, but I needed some flying. I actually I didn't have the... Uh, I, I never got the radio card uh, in Golden Run, so I had to make my way back to Johto. And so I was like, "All right, I'm not walking all the way back to Johto. Let's get the uh, let's get the Juliet going now." Because I went to Vermilion, but apparently that ship only goes on certain days, which is really obnoxious. Um, but uh, but yeah. Anyway, so we're kicking off today um, by heading here into Fuchsia City's gym um, under new management. Uh, they all look like uh, I think Janine is the name of Koga's daughter, who's taken over the gym. They all look like her, and we've just got to battle everybody until we find the right one. Uh, Alright, Napoleon's out. I have a feeling Ice Punch should probably do it for us. Yeah. Yeah, we're a little bit over-leveled at this state, um, but I, I wasn't... I didn't, like, do a ton of excessive grinding. Um, just, uh, just kind of was battling the trainers as we went, went along. I, I went and hit most of the locales in Kanto uh, so that I could... Um, uh, so that I would be able to, uh, you know, just fly back and forth when we're doing this episode. So I have kind of, I went to Cinnabon, I went to, you know, Viridian and all those places, Pewter, uh, so that I could just kind of pop in and out. Um, Venusaur is coming in. Um, Joseph doesn't really have anything for Venusaur anyway, so uh, this is a little bit of a, it might be scary, but let's go, we'll go for the Stab Super Effective Earthquake and hope that's enough. It is fantastic. Um, but yeah, so one of the things I want to talk to you guys, and I'll do it here at the front before I lose your focus, uh, which I don't anticipate, but anyway, let's go ahead and start talking about it now. This is the second to last episode of the Pokemon Crystal Wedlock, and since the Pokemon Crystal Wedlock is part of the Hiptathlock, uh, meaning this is a continuing series, um... Yeah, I guess that'll be fine. Uh, since this is uh, part of a continuing series, that means we need to start thinking about what's coming up. Uh, since this is the second to last episode, uh, that's generally when, in these kinds of series, we have talked about what we want our starter for the next season to be. Uh, so I've kind of talked about this a little bit, but just in case nobody is, or some of you guys are not aware, um, the next season of the Hiptath Lock is going to be a Pokemon Emerald Little Lock. Uh, and the Little Lock is a Nuzlocke variant that I created a while ago, a couple of years ago, um, and I did a failed run of Pokemon Omicron, which was a, a fan-made hack, uh, or, I don't even think, it's not necessarily a hack, it was just kind of a fan-made Pokemon game. Um, and so I, I played that, uh, did a Little Lock of that game, uh, did not make it to the completion, we, we got pretty far in that game, but we ended up going down, it just, it, it really got difficult very quickly, and I think we wiped, uh, in some of the last part of the plot of that game. <clears throat> and, but, it was a, it was a variant that I was, I was pretty excited about, and, uh, I wanted to try again, I wanted to try and get a victory in it, so, what we're going to be doing is a Pokemon Emerald Little Lock. Um, what the Little Lock essentially means is it's inspired by my love of the Little Cup tier on, uh, on, on Pokemon Showdown and Smogon and all that. Basically just baby Pokemon. Um, and my, my variant uh, varies slightly from just the babies in that... Uh, oop. No, I wanted to battle that other girl! Darn. Alright, but well, we missed out on one of the trainers. I figured the girl in the middle would probably be actual uh, Janine. But here we go, later Janine must battle. Um, but essentially, um, it means we can only use baby Pokemon. So Pokemon that have not evolved or Pokemon that cannot evolve, uh, and by that I mean 
um, like Torkoal or Skarmory or some of these Pokemon that are single stage Pokemon that do not have, either have not evolved and cannot evolve. Um, I, I allowed those single stage Pokemon simply because, um, you know, kind of building in some some uh, defense against the fact that, um, you know, in, in some, most of these games you eventually start running out of, um, you know, just simply baby Pokemon to deal with. Uh, or to catch, so uh, I wanted to make sure that we would we would have some other Pokemon we could potentially get. So, um, so yeah. Um, but basically, what that means is we're playing Pokemon Emerald, and our starter will not be able to evolve. So I want you guys to keep that in mind as you're picking our starter, because if you love Blaziken and you think firefighting is a great type combination, unfortunately, we can only use Torchic. Blaziken does not come into effect. Uh, if you love Swampert and you think his typing is great, well, unfortunately, that's just not going to be a possibility. You know, so on and so forth. So, um, I want you guys to vote. Um, obviously, your choices going into Pokemon Emerald are uh, Torchic, Mudkip, and Trico, and they will remain a Torchic, Mudkip, and Trico for the entirety of the run, uh, assuming they survive, which hopefully they do. Um, you having baby Pokemon, especially in some aspects of Pokemon Emerald, might be difficult. Uh, going up against Norman and his slackings with all baby Pokemon, I'm a little squared about that, but um, I, I, I think that that's something that's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, on this episode, in the comments down below, I would love for you guys to simply just tell me who would you like for my starter Pokemon going into the next season of this series, which is probably going to be a about a month removed from when this series ends. Um, but uh, it, it's something, you know, that'll give me time to finish prepping and everything like that. I haven't made the overlays or anything for it, uh, things like that. So that, that'll be good. Um, I'm kind of on a break from YouTube anyway. I, I promised that I would complete this series in a timely fashion, and so I've continued to do this this series. And I, I, I really enjoy, the, especially these older games. They're just such a joy to sit down and, and play. So um, it hasn't really been an issue. But I'm not going to really jump into a new series until I've kind of finished my break at this point. So um, let me know uh, in the comments down below, Torchic, Trico, or Mudkip. And I don't want to, uh, I don't want to really, um, you know, color your decisions at all there. I want you guys to kind of just let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, and, uh, and that would be, that'll be great. So yeah, uh, Torchic, Mudkip, and Trico for our starter of the Pokemon Emerald Little Lock. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see. And then next episode, once we know who survives our red battle, if anybody survives the red battle, uh, we will, we'll start talking about who we want as transfers into that season. Uh, but for now, we're just talking, uh, just talking starter. But there we go. We received the soul badge from Janine, which is fantastic, uh, and she gives us toxic, which, or I think that's what she said she was giving us. Uh, yeah, I, she was explaining it before she gave it to us for some reason. Did I battle her? Nope, apparently not. All right, well that's unfortunate. Uh, okay, we can't get back out that way, so let's go around the back here, uh, and I will see you guys all back at the next gym. Alrighty guys, here we are in Pewter City, and it does look like we have a couple of gym traders. Now, you'll see on the side where I did switch up the team a little bit. Um, I decided we'd get Penelope and Aragorn back out here, because why not? Let's go ahead and get that going. Um, Brock usually has got some ground Pokemon, as well as his usual rock types, so I figured that they would be, between the fighting and the ice and everything, they'd probably be a pretty decent combination of Pokemon here. Now this guy, he's got a Sand Slash, so Sand Shrew has evolved since last we saw him. Uh, let's go ahead and throw up the Powder Snow, see if that'll do it for us. Penelope's almost up to level 50, so yes, there we go. Fantastic, the Sand Slash goes down, and the Kepper Jerry is defeated. Alright! Uh, that'll work out nicely, and I think Brock's going to be a cr pretty quick jib here for us, so that'll work out nicely. But uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about the next uh, next season. I hope you guys are too. I, the little lock's one of those those things that I just in concept, it's it's a it's a nice challenge because you don't get any of the stat boosts of evolution and thing like that. And even in even in Nuzlocke's where you know, like like I was well in this one we had like fiber and things like that, and he he started getting a little frail for for some of these late. Oh man, Brock's got almost full team. I started getting a little frail for later in the game and things like that. And when your entire team is that, you don't have really any backup. That's a that's a pretty uh, pretty tough uh, thing. So I'm really looking to the ch forward to the challenge that uh, um, that this this upcoming run is going to give. Um, I found I, I'm gonna, I'm going to say this, and then of course somebody's going to die here in this gym or something. But I found that this this challenge, um, Torch Change Pokemon. Yeah, we're gonna we'll bring Aragorn in on the on the pure rock type. Um, I found that this challenge was not as difficult as I maybe would have thought it would be. Um, there's been a couple of instances where I've been really unlucky, and, uh, I've... Ooh, wow, why was that so garbage? It was a fighting move, super effective, stab, ouch. Um, yikes. I really need to teach him other than t something other than tackle, too. Uh, this could be bad, actually, yeah, and I'm sitting here talking about how, uh, 
<laughs> how easy this game has been. I mean, it hasn't been super easy, but it hasn't been... I think still Josephine... Or, uh, not Josephine. Guinevere and Lancelot are still the only Pokemon that we've lost. Um, I expected it to be a little little more challenging. And, of course, these early games are, are certainly easier than some of the later games and things like that in that respect. So, it, it, you know, it all will probably be, you know, a wedlock at a different... You know, I, I lost... All, actually, I was doing an off-camera wedlock of Pokemon... X. Okay. Um. Okay. Hang on here. Hang on here. Um. I really don't want to lose somebody, especially my shiny Hitmon top at this point. So let's go ahead and uh, switch things around. I'm really shocked at how terrible Dizzy Punch is. And unfortunately, um, he doesn't really learn. I think the only other fighting move. Well, he's got Counter, which I guess we could try. No, but he's gonna surface. Um. Um. Yeah, does nothing. Um, the only other fighting move he's going to learn is Triple Kick, which is only a 10 base power. And it, it, my understanding is that, based on the name, it only hits three times. So I'm like, okay, so 30 base power is the best fighting move this thing gets? It's a little disappointing, if I'm being honest with you. But um, hopefully he can survive here, and he's not going to be useful to us at all uh, in the rest of this gym, I would guess, which is a little bit disconcerting. Because, yikes, that was terrible. <laughs> um... It's about to use Onyx. Yes, we will switch Peaches back here. Er, Peaches. Penelope back in for that. Holy cow. <clears throat> um, but yeah, yeah. So I'm looking forward to the extra challenge uh, given up by uh, by the uh, by the little lock. I'm looking forward to that a lot. Um, I'm also starting a Nuzlocke. Uh, for those of you guys who might be interested, um, it's uh, going to be a patron exclusive series, though. There's a there's a hack that's coming out or is out. Called, uh, and it's maybe even not new, but I heard about it from my friend Addy, who's actually a patron of mine, um, and uh, he's on the Time Shot server and stuff now. We were on an SMP years ago. Um, well, Torch Age Pokemon. Um, I didn't, I didn't see what it is. The Boo Tops. Um, crap. All right, so let's go ahead and Hyper Potion Aragorn. I don't really trust him to be switched into anything. Ooh, Surf. Can Penelope resist that? Uh, okay, okay, all right, that looks good. Um, let's bring Aragorn back in, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's called Pokemon Nameless Fire Red, and it's a hack that is a, it's been updated to include, like, all Pokemon up through Gen 6. Man, I only got three of these? Crap. Um, all Pokemon up through Gen 6, so it's gonna have Mega Evolutions and things like that, all in the Pokemon Fire Red engine. So, it's kind of a cool little way to play through some of those mechanics without having to use, like, my, you know, phone to record the screen and my 3DS and all that other kind of stuff. Um, so that'll be fun. I need a confusion off of you here, uh, Aragorn. This is a normal type move? Wait a second, did that, is that... Oh, no wonder it's doing such garbage. Dizzy Punch isn't even a fighting type move? Oh, man, you are... Oh, Aragorn is such a terrible Pokemon. I was so excited when he hatched. I was like, oh yeah! Or when I when he evolved into a Hitmontop, I was like, oh yeah, this will be great. Nope. Nope, he's really been disappointing. Okay, well, crap. Um, no wonder that was doing so bad. Okay, well that makes more sense now. Um, you guys are probably all like yelling at your screen. You're like, Tord, is that a normal type move, you idiot? Um, I guess tackle? Oof. Alright, I need to get some better moves on this guy. We need to go through our TMs and just go see what's available. Not looking for crits from you, Kabutops. He's on the door. If this if this guy uses <laughs> potion or something here, I'm gonna be very upset. Um but uh but yeah, so Pokemon Nameless Fire Red, um it's a it's a hack that is uh is gonna include all of the stuff up through Gen 6. It doesn't include any Gen 7 Pokemon, unfortunately. Uh that would be a lot of fun. Um, but, uh, but I think it's still be, gonna be a good time, so, um, that's gonna be a patron-exclusive series, though, and I just wanted to let you guys know, in case anybody had an interest in seeing that, um, it's probably not going to be a series that will ever see the public light of day. Um, but it, it's not gonna be, a, it's not gonna be, oop, he endured. Um, it's not gonna, I mean, there's still gonna be regular content going up on my channel, this is just gonna be something extra to thank my patrons, uh, and so if anybody is interested in seeing that, we're gonna be doing a Nuzlocke on that hack, which I think is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, Brock is about to send you a Rhyhorn, we'll put- yes, let's get freaking Aragorn out of here. I can't believe I didn't realize that wasn't a fighting move. How is that not a fighting move? My Atlanta. Alright. He's, like, ugh. It's, it's shocking how terrible some of the level moves, the, the move sets are in some of these early generations. It's, a, it's astounding. It tr so that means the only fighting move that that thing learns is Triple Kick, which has a 10 base power. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Tort received the Boulder Badge. Alright. Tort, thanks, I enjoyed that battle, even though I'm a bit upset. 
that boulder badge will make your Pokemon even more powerful. Alright, well, uh, I think we've got to head to Cinnabar and then to Seafoam, potentially, to battle Blaine, so I will see you guys all back in just a second. Alright guys, here we are at the Seafoam Islands, for those who are who have forgotten, uh, uh, the Cinnabar in this timeline has been had a volcano erupted and wiped out the entire island's population, uh, and so Blaine relocated his gym to the Seafoam Islands, uh, and so we're here, and it looks like we're just taking him on. Um, I've got Bonnie and Aang up front, I think they'll be able to handle this pretty well for us. Let's go ahead and wah! My gym and Cinnabar are burned down! My fire-breathing Pokemon and I are homeless because of the volcano, wah! But I am back in business as a gym leader here in this cave. If you can beat me, I'll give you a badge. Ah, huh, you'd better have Burn Heal. Well, I've got a Fire Pokemon, so I'm not super concerned. He's only got three Pokemon himself, which is a little disappointing, I guess. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and throw up a Faint Attack here. I was going to use Napoleon and Josephine again, but we've seen a lot of Napoleon and Josephine, and Bonnie and Ang are relatively new additions to the team. And so I figured, why not? Let's get a little bit more face time with them. They've been very useful uh, in in my training and things like that. So um, I uh, I figured, why not let you guys enjoy them as much as I have? So uh, throw up the fake tanks, which she's uh, she's pretty good with. Uh, we should be getting crunch before too long as well, which will be exciting. Bonnie takes that very easily. Throws up the faint attack once again, and down goes the Magmar. All right, what do we got left? About to use Rapidash. Yeah, let's change it up. Let's get Ang in here. You guys haven't seen a ton of him. Bonnie could use the experience, but we'll uh, we'll get Ang some face time. Ang pops in. Uh, let's try a Dragon Breath. I was just teaching some TMs. It's the only real Dragon move. Oof. Woof. It's not great. I remember Dragon Breath not being great from later generations. I think it potentially has the ability to paralyze, maybe? There it is! Yeah, alright! We'll take it. Um, but uh, base base power-wise, it's not really a, not really great. Unfortunately, I think it's like the only dragon move that is possibly learned, besides Dragon Rage, uh, which does a base amount of power. Let's throw up the extremes. Oh, alright. Well, Max Potion, Rapidash is still going to be, uh, still going to be paralyzed, at least. Uh, hits us with the Fire Spin. Let's try out this Zap Cannon. I just taught this as well. It apparently has pretty poor accuracy. Ooh, that's a little disconcerting. Oh yeah, Ang took that very well. Stuck in the Fire Spin still. We can't heal. Ooh, really bad accuracy on this. Released from the Fire Spin. Well, that's... Ooh, okay, well apparently Zap Cannon's worthless. I don't know, I had the TM and I was like, well, Ang can learn it, why not? And uh, I guess that's why not. I guess it's pretty good. There we go. Um, we'll probably end up getting, like, Thunder Punch and maybe Fire Punch from Goldenrod. Um, which will make it a little bit easier to get some type coverage. I think that's that's stuff that people run on competitive Dragonites even, so uh, we have the ability to buy those, that's probably what we'll end up doing. But there we go! Blaine uh, has given us his badge, which means all we need to do now is... Uh, for you. Yo! Huh? It's over already? Sorry, sorry, Cinnabar's gym was gone, but I didn't know where to find you. Oh, is this the guy? Okay, alright, well, I will catch you guys at our final gym for the day in Viridian City, so I'll see you guys in just a second. Alrighty guys, here we are at our final gym in Viridian City. I was going to let one of the uh, newer couples take care of this, uh, but I actually looked at uh, Blue's team, and he's, he's got his champion team basically, it's got nice variety, but it's also got a uh, <laughs> pretty high level Pokemon on it, uh, higher than we've uh, dealt with since Lance probably, so... Um, well, I decided, well, I can't, I don't want to really want to lose anybody, I didn't want to do a ton of grinding, so Fiber and Luna are going to take care of it, because I trust them implicitly. Um, they're prob they're a little lower level than some of our other Pokemon, but not by a ton, um, and, uh, and I think they'll be able to handle it. They're pretty bulky and have got pretty decent coverage on, uh, on his team. So, we're going to let them do it, and we're going to hope it turns out for the best, because otherwise I'll cry a little. But let's jump into it, and, uh, and see what Blue's got in store for us here, shall we? Here we go. We anchored all the gems in Johto. Hey, <laughs> Johto's gems must be pretty pathetic. And hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you are good or bad by battling you right now. I mean, I battled all the gems in Kanto, but you too. So, and I defeated the Elite Four, and I'm the champion of the, you know, whatever. Leader Blue wants to battle, huh? All right, well, let's give him one of those, shall we? Is our final gem that we need to conquer here in Kanto. Oh, God, the levels are so much high. We're like 10 levels too low. Oh, I hope this doesn't go bad. All right, well, let's hope that... Fiber can one-shot Pidgeot, maybe? Please? Possibly? Oh, so close! Mirror. Ooh! Okay, Fiber should be fine. Okay, critical hit even. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Let's quick attack, finish off the Pidgeot. 
Ouch. All right, uh, Luna's about to use Rhydon. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead. Luna, it's got the Ice Punch, which will do Rhydon for us. But yeah, guys, this is the final gym battle in the Kanto region, which means it is very close to the end of the episode here, so I want to take this opportunity to remind you guys one more time. Ooh, I was hoping that would do more. Okay, so I'm going to want to remind you guys one more time, however, to uh, to make sure you get your votes in in the comments down below for what you want our starter to be in the next season of Heptathlon, Heptathlon Season 3, as we once again, as I said, go through a Pokemon Emerald Little Lock. I'm really looking forward to this series, but uh, again, a Little Lock means that our starters will not evolve at all, so uh, you are essentially voting for uh, Trico, Mudkip, or Torchic. Not Sceptile, uh, uh, Swampert, and Blaziken. Uh, Trico, Trico, Mudkip, and Torchic, are, they, our starters will not evolve uh, at any point, nor will any of the Pokemon on our team. Um, so, uh, yeah, just as a reminder. Uh, Alakazam should get hit there too, right? Yes, thank you. That's actually, that's doing a lot of chip damage there. Let's go for the Sing. I'm a little scared. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Crap. And Moon is so bad with the Sings. Okay. Um, need to heal, like a lot. Alright, um, Hyper Potion on Luna. Okay. A little more comfortable when she's up at full. Alright, Luna. Ouch! Holy crap, we can't take, we can't take one of those. This Sandstorm needs to run out. Um, how many, we got a lot of Hyper Potions at least. Uh, wow. And they're like the bulkiest Pokemon I got. I guess... Hmm. Well, if we had used Ang and Bonnie, then Bonnie could have just been immune to the Psychic type attack, and that would have been fine. But um, they didn't really have a whole lot else to do with the rest of the. There we go. Um, subsided. Sing. Okay. Disable's good. Oh. All right. Sing. Do not crit. 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 Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. So yeah, get your votes in down in the comments down below. I need to heal Luna. I am not losing Luna and Fiverr at this late date. That would be very, very depressing. Um, Alakazam is fast asleep. Fantastic. Um, alright. Return. Should be... Should be good, especially with all that sandstorm damage. Okay. Well, good. Hopefully we... Well, I don't want to say hopefully we couldn't have just done that in the first place, but... <laughs> um, if, if we had, I would be a little sad that we spent all that time uh, doing not that thing. Um, alright. Fiverr. Start the Thunderbolt. Hopefully, again, one-shotting, maybe? Couldn't pull it off with a Pidgey Eye, but four times effective here. Beautiful. Gyarados is out for the count. All right, I think he's down to two. Yes, uh, he's about to use Executor. Torch change Pokemon. Yes. Yeah, Luna's got... She's got the Shadow Ball, and she's got the Ice Punch. Hopefully. Hopefully, one of those will do the thing that we need it to do. Oh, super bulky with the Executor over here. Okay, sets so up the Leech Seed. Not super concerned. Shadow Ball, his special defenses fell. Although, Ghost type is all physical, isn't it? Ooh, and he's taking in sunlight. Um, Ice Punch, baby? Let's try that. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Good work, Luna. Good work, Luna. Okay, uh, about to send in Arcanine. We'll Torch Change Pokemon. Oh, I don't really have anything for Arcanine. Um, all right, sing. Come on, Luna. I trust your defenses, girly. You got this. You got this. You got this. Oh. Oh, and we're still leech seated. Crap. Okay. Um, get Luna out of here. Fiverr's a little hurt. Ooh, this being ten levels lower than we should be is not ideal. I really should have grinded these guys up instead of all these other random Pokemon that we were doing. Um, alright, Luna Fiber, heal up here, buddy old pal. You know, building alone. Um, alright. Okay, so that's just barely over half. Alright, we gotta get the Thunder Wave up. Maybe that'll help us out. Um, Fiber should be able to withstand it. Right, Fiber? Right, Fiber? Oh. <laughs> alright, Fiber's gonna lower eight. Okay, yeah, good, you're good. I was say, one Hyper Potion isn't enough to get Luna up to full from that, but uh, Fiverr can do it. Alright, he's got the extreme speed. Alright. Alright, good, good, good. Alright, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Let's see what we can do here. Alright, Arcanine use Flamethrower. Fiverr can withstand it. Barely, but he can. Alright, we gotta heal again. Instead of attacking, I probably should have taken that opportunity to heal Luna. Um, 
In fact, let's do that just to be safe. Just in case we need to make a switch. Alright, there we go. Fiverr can take another hit. Flamethrower coming in. Yowzers, man! Uh, alright, alright. A little more potion spammy than I generally like to be, but... <laughs> I was lazy and didn't want to grind anymore, so this is what we get. Ha oh, ha! Oh, critical hit! No bueno with that. Um, but yeah, uh, oh, there we go, fully paralyzed, that's what I've been waiting for. Uh, but yeah, so uh, get your votes in for the starters of, of the next season when the little lock. Also, if you have any interest in the uh, the patron-exclusive Nameless Fire Red Nuzlocke that I mentioned, um, you, can, uh, you can get access to that series uh, by simply making a $1 monthly pledge. There's no, like, tier requirement. Anybody who is a patron... Ooh, good, and we get the free paralysis. Uh, anybody who is a patron of mine... Um, there's no tier requirement. Anybody who's a patron gets access to that series. So, um, yeah, I don't know how frequently that was going to update. Um, it'll just kind of, it'll be more like a, as I have the ability to do it, um, sort of series. But it probably will start while I'm still on my break. Uh, and we'll probably do that as the loan, loans. Oh, another full restore. You're killing me here, Gary. Um, let's just go for the Thunderbolt and hope we get another free paralysis. So yeah, the link, as always, to my Patreon is in the description down below. If anybody has any interest in that whatsoever, uh, as low as one month, one dollar a month, and you get access to all of my Patreon exclusive series, which are going to be a much more frequently running thing uh, going forward here. Uh, okay, Fiber can survive it. Can survive it. Can. Oh. All right, I need to heal and hope that he doesn't. Uh, usually, these guys don't have more than one or two of these things, but uh, okay, good. He's got the extreme speed. Um, alright, Thunderbolt. Beautiful. Arcanine should go down. <laughs> oh man, that was tough. I'm gonna have to do so much grinding before the red battle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this next week's gonna suck. Alright, um, how the heck did I lose to you? Alright, but there we go. We get the Earth Badge. We have all the Kanto badges. Court received Earth Badge. Blue. Alright, when I was wrong, you're the real deal. You're a good trainer, but I'm gonna beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torb the Great. You guys have been great. Uh, that was a little more heart pounding than I expected it to be, but uh, yeah, the levels kind of jumped there a little bit. Uh, kind of like 10, 10 levels over what the rest of his gym leaders are, so that's kind of strange. But anyway, uh, that was a fun battle, uh, and uh, as heart pounding as it was, uh, we made it through. We made it through okay. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I've been Torb the Green. You guys have been great. Again, final reminder, put your comments, your votes for who you want my starter to be in the Pokemon Emerald Little Lock, keeping in mind, once again, uh, that they will not be evolving. So don't vote based on your love for Blaziken or Swampert or Sceptile, because we will never see those Pokemon. Um, they will be remaining Trico, uh, Torchic, and Mudkip. So, thank you so much for watching. I've been Torb the Great, and you guys have been great. Make sure those likes, comments, subscriptions for me, guys, and I will see you all back here next time as we finish off this series and take on Red. Oh, I've got a lot of grinding to do. I'll see you guys all then. Have a good one.